Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a totally random pick a pile. So go ahead and focus on the piles ahead, A, B, or C. They're in a little different position than usual, so hopefully this works out. Just needed a little more space. I will also hit the bowl. I will timestamp the piles at the bottom. And we're going to actually include some bananagrams, the, uh, the tiles from for letters as well as the zodiac dice as well that's what's there so go ahead focus on the three piles ahead and we'll get started at the one minute mark all right i'm gonna hit the bowl now All right, pile one. Let's get started with some letters. I'm going to do six letters. So this may be initials. This may have some significance to people involved in this situation, whatever it may be for you. All right. I'm going to try and lay them out front for you as well. Just going to try and figure out where to put all the cards. <laughs> the first tile we have is a T. An R, an O, and of course you could spell words that may be significant to you as well. An A, another A, and a D. So already I'm seeing aorta, dart, trod. <laughs> Just trying to think of all of them. Drat. <laughs> okay, so I'll let you focus on that. Okay. We'll get some dice. I'm going to do all four zodiac dice. So this could be relative to your energy or theirs. We have Pisces, middle focus. <laughs> there you go. And I'm going to put it this way so you can see it better. There you go. We have Scorpio. This could be anywhere in their chart, too. Oh, we have double Pisces. Okay. It's weird to see it sideways. And we have Aries. So, and I would be safe to say that Pisces would probably be a heavy aspected placement somewhere, okay? So the first card out, we are starting with... Let's see, we're actually going to start with a mantra first. I am connecting to my spiritual warrior energy. I straighten up my back. I hold my head up. And from now on, I walk on planet Earth with dignity, confidence, and purpose. So perhaps there's a situation that needs string, strength, strength, strength. <laughs> All right. Let's see. And we're also going to do Buddha, get a Buddha quote, see if that also helps as well. These are just also good for healing. Guard your mind with vigilance. Sorry about that. Nurture the positive and remove the negative. Your mind will find peace. So I'll just leave those two there for you. Let's see if we can make some space so you can see both of them. New setup is a little a little interesting. Then we're going to go with the unshakable inner peace oracle. And the card you have is number 12. So 12 may be significant. The number three also. That breaks down to a three. Your true tribe can't show up until you do. How can you show more of the real you? So this could be about finding strength with others, right? And I'm actually going to, next card out, ooh, perfect, the Life Purpose Oracle, support. Your life purpose fully supports you. Perhaps your true tribe will help be supportive. Just trying to find a space for that. 
All right, the next card out that has popped out for you is number 14, which breaks down to a five. That is denial. This is from the Wisdom of the House of the Night Oracle. And I'll go ahead and read it to you now. Not everything is in reach, my child. Sometimes I must create distance between what you want and when or how you are meant to receive it. Consider the wait for your highest good. You're not meant to achieve what you want right now. Keep the faith, for if you wait and show patience, I will reveal some wondrous things later. This is a gentle warning not to get caught up in your desire to, to reach your goal too soon. You may choose sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy. In this case, I alone know when the time is ripe. Patience, my child. So in this case, Spirit is suggesting you find groups of friends to get support from, your soul tribe, right? That help you strengthen while you wait for achieving your purpose, right? And perhaps there's maybe some kind of new thing to learn with this group, you know, that you can um try to figure out a way to get this. There we go. We'll put that there for now. Yeah, that's something that this new group will actually assist you with in this process, while at the same time killing some time, right? So we're going to go ahead and pull Kipper and two Gypsy Witches for you, Lenormand, just to give you a better idea of maybe where to go, what to look for, or what it's about. You have number 31, Health, Bad Health. Excuse me. There we go. I'm going to turn on the light because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too much of a glare. Okay. So this is really just about, you know, healing yourself, right? So you can find, you know, self-care through this tribe, you know, while you wait um, to help you strengthen and guard your mind and nurture positive, removing negative. So it may just be a time of cleanup, rebirth time as well. The first card that came out from the Gypsy Witch is, let me show it to you close, are the clouds. Number 25 may also be significant to you. That is the Seven of Swords. And perhaps because... There's some divine inner workings around whatever betrayal or deception is going on with the Seven of Swords, okay? The dark side is toward the person, okay? So it could indicate some sort of breakup. I mean, I know it says divorce, but it could be just some sort of separation, right? Um, however, the next card over is a good one. So it's going to lead to something good. You got the Ten of Pentacles with the Scythe there. Uh, there might be a little bit of dis uh, disappointment in this. Um, it's not near the coffin, so you're all good. And it's also the Ten of Pentacles, which means basically like you have everything you need in the tangible, right? And you do have the light side of the clouds aiming towards that. So I think whatever this period of wait is, is going to be ending up beautifully for you. Okay, there you go. All right, if you have chosen pile number two, let's get started. Let's get you some letters. Let me go ahead and get six. Should we shake the bag? I completely forgot I had these. <laughs> we should use them a lot. They're helpful. All right, I think that's six. Nope, no more. All right, so the letters we have for you, and you can also make words out of these. They don't have to necessarily signify initials. It could be also words that might help ping something for you regarding whatever this situation is. You have F O R T. So fort, four, I, and a second I, okay? There's all kinds of ways you can spell stuff with that. Let's see what else we can spell. Rot. Fur, as in like the tree. Okay. So go ahead and look at those and see if they make any sense for you. We'll go ahead and roll these zodiac dice and see what signs you'll be dealing with. Either yours or theirs. Okay. We have two Capricorns here. There's one. Leave that sideways for you. So that could mean heavy aspected Capricorn, Capricorn somewhere in the chart. Yours or theirs. All right. You also have Gemini. Okay. 
and come on now, be nice to me. <laughs> and Scorpio, <laughs> there you go. All right, so your first card out is a mantra, and we'll start with that. That could also ping as well. In this moment and throughout my entire day, I am energized with strength and purpose. So this could have a lot to do with strengthening your energy as well as your purpose. Your Buddha advice, affirmation, is set your heart in doing good. Do it over and over again, and you will be filled with happiness. So happiness, and keep doing, keep going, keep moving. All right. Your unshakable inner peace card is number 36, which breaks down to a nine. 36 may be significant to you. Three sixes, nines may be significant at this time. Leader of the light, where are you being called to serve and support others? Okay. This could very well be purpose, a sense of purpose that makes you happy and energized. And you have card number 17. And the wisdom of the house of the night oracle. Focus. I'm going to actually put this right here so you can see it. And I'll go ahead and read you from the book there. Let me get rid of that glare. Yeah, it's not good enough. All right. All right. When you draw this symbol, it is a wonderful sign that with focus you will achieve what you want. If I give you an arrow and a bow to use, how will you shoot and hit your mark? This is a reminder that you must let go of all distractions and have the courage to give it your all. Your arrow will be drawn to whatever you focus on, so keep your eye on the target. However, remember that you can't control every outcome. Just as the wind can influence the path of your arrow, there are many factors determining the course of your plans. To achieve anything, you must focus. Take aim and let go. The card pulled from the Life Purpose Oracle is the study card. Reading, research, education will help you gain confidence and clarity about your career or whatever your purpose is. So do your homework. <laughs> Learn as much as you can. We'll focus on that too. Might have to focus on, you know, figuring things out a little bit and exploring everything about whatever your purpose you feel led to the light to do, right? The card from the Kipper is number 20, House. And this is just a card of home and stability and foundation. So it may be something, your purpose may have something to do with being home, right? First card out from, nice. Uh, the Gypsy Witch is the Ten of Wands which does talk about burdens, but it also just talks about doing a lot of stuff, you know, having a lot of responsibilities, right? It's number 35, breaks down to an eight, also a card of abundance. Um, but the tower in this deck actually does indicate, you know, some kind of foundation. So it kind of suggests that this is definitely something at home and the more the tangible. And fortunately, it's not surrounded by clouds. You're fine so far. We'll see what this last card says. <laughs> Yep, not clouds. Good. All right, so you should be fine. It's just a card of stability, right? You have the four cups there, so there could be some, like, waiting game, some confusion, maybe a little stagnation, um, some uncertainty, some lack of clarity. Um, it's number 17, the fish, but it says money's good. You know, you should be fine with the tangible, okay? It's not distant. It's actually quite close up. You should be fine in that moment, okay? All right, there you go. All right, pile number three. Let's get you some tiles. This should be interesting. The first two were interesting. Oh, man. Let's see, we're gonna get six. Let me just count them, there we go. One more, please, thank you. All right. Your first tile out is Y. First letter. P. Now go ahead and if there's any words you see in this too that might signify something for you. E. We have D. What do we got here? E. 
another E, and an S. All right. Seed. I mean, immediately said seep as well. CD. So, all right. Ped as in feet. Oh. Oh, maybe you'll see some other words in that than I did. All right, so your guidance from Buddha is endure harsh words, for many people speak wildly. Endure hard words in peace. So maybe there's going to be some harsh spoken words coming up or around. Maybe someone being CD. Okay, who knows? Your mantra is, I am the architect of my thoughts. I am bathing in the river of creativity and brilliant ideas. I am kneeling down before my true self in gratitude and acceptance for who I am. So no matter what happens, you know who you are, you know your truth, and no other words can change that, right? Your card from the unshakable inner peace oracle is number four a number of protection for you as well as stability. You are the joy seeker. What little victories can you celebrate? And we're going to use that one too. I'm going to put that over there. That's good. So don't let anyone destroy your joy, okay? Your life purpose oracle card is body work. It involves body work, massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. So those can be clues. And, oh, I see where we're going here. The next card out, let me put this up for you so you can see it, is number 23, which breaks down to a five. Fives are change. Listening. Let's see, what does that little blurb say for you? Darkness does not always equate to evil. Light does not always bring good. So keep that in mind. That might mean something. Try to get away from it. The, there, we got the glare away. <laughs> All right. I do see where this is going. I'll read this for you. This symbol indicates that you're meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than their words. In my house of night... There will be a beautiful girl with skin the color of dark honey who has the gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with great detail and expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what are required right now. Listen and learn. What others don't say is what is important at this moment. And perhaps it'll be in a setting where you're getting a massage or physical therapy or exercise of some sort, right? And perhaps it could just be, you know, while you're in the pursuit of self-care and being joyful, finding something fun to do, right? Being true to yourself. People are going to speak harsh words. Um, so it's time to listen and kind of listen transparently, right? So the card that came up from the Kipper, I'll move that over is message of concern number 14 also breaks down to a five but it came up in the reverse and that just tells me it's not a message of concern at all but it'll still be a message nonetheless there may be some sort of indirect message within it that's only meant for you that the original speaker wasn't intending on saying right but it will have some sort of significance to where you're going or it'll clue you in on something that um, might expose a situation you had needed clarity on, right? So the first Gypsy Witch card that came out is a Three of Pentacles, number 48. The money safe indicates riches. If, shut towards, if the shut side is toward the person, it denotes loss by speculation. So perhaps whoever to the right is shut, right? Whoever is speaking this message... He's going to lose something by speaking too much. <laughs> All right. And to you, it's open. So you're just going to gain something valuable from this. 
And Three of Pentacles is all about collaboration. So it'll be in a collaborative setting. Then you have the Ace of Cups, represented by a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Number 11, which is a number of manifestation. The fox in close proximity augurs distrust of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you. Distant, less danger. And in this spread, it is distant from this person. Okay? Maybe they're going to be unaware that they're going to expose themselves, right? So let's get you some zodiacs and see who you might be dealing with. Your energy or their theirs. Ah, we have two, we have double Pisces. We also have that in pile number one. So you might want to go check that out. That might give you a little more clues. There's the second one. Maybe highly aspected in someone's chart, yours or theirs. And we also have Cancer, a second water sign. And Taurus. All righty. So there you go, pile three. Have a good one.